All right, we're traveling back in time to August 2022, so last year, which seems strange to say that, but we're already in 2023. Um, and this was me attempting to do um, a build idea I'd had for a long time, which was having Elephant kill the pet behind it deliberately and trigger a bunch of vultures to shoot. Now, um, obviously the idea is that, or maybe it's not obvious, but <laughs> that ultimately the idea was to put one up on the unit behind the elephant and then by killing the unit and then um, it respawning, the vultures are all going to get triggered twice right at the beginning. However, they changed uh, <laughs> vultures ability so that it has to be every two feints. So it doesn't really work too well um, with this combo. So it kind of been on the back burner for quite a while. And um, I decided one of the things I want to do more regularly is try and get more sort of, um, you know, more interesting builds that actually rely on synergies. And, and I know I do enjoy doing a lot of the challenge runs and things, but um, ultimately a lot of them uh, are very samey. And, uh, you know, you're especially with when you're playing in the the very um punishing custom packs meta you're kind of pressurized into taking the same units over and over just to give yourself a chance um so i want to I certainly wanted a break from that at least and um elephant being one of the least my least played pets i would say i think i generally take it only to put it at the uh, the back as a uh, just for the stats here we've got a, an incredible start um, and I obviously I, <laughs> I had a lot of attempts at this today and uh, it, it you know it, it takes a certain amount of luck to get the the setup going that I wanted so finding having both the blowfish and the elephant with uh, very high stats at the beginning is uh, is great because it's going to win us a lot of early rounds and preserve health for for later on in the game so i do my dove pill which i've been doing an awful lot lately um i just really like him you know getting the two two stats onto units at two units at the start of the game is so good um although it obviously is very uh, frustrating when you can't find the pill but here we run the double elephant double blowfish just for a couple of turns or one turn to uh um, see us through and even just level 1 blowfish that can do so much damage uh, in the early game and here we find one of the other pets that's necessary for this uh, setup and that is seagull obviously it's been in many many uh, <laughs> uh, custom packs videos over the last year um, not very many of mine to be honest um, because I found it so frustrating to get it set up and um, that's partly why I think this is a good choice because um, Elephant being such a good mid-game carry means that you have time to set up your other pets that you're required for the combo. And, and this is one where you act there's actually five. All five slots are required for this to work. Um, so here I'm just going to pick up the Pelican for a little bit of buffs. We're rapidly approaching the point where... Um, the stats that I got at the beginning of the game for the elephant and the blowfish are really going to fall off. And we're going to start facing all of these sort of um, custom packs um, terrors like uh, um, clownfish, uh, jellyfish, um, buffalo, llama. Um, I ran into, I had some really good combos going today and ran into like, you know, 50 50 llamas, 50 50 buffaloes. You just got no hope. Um, so. We're going to sell Pelican. Uh, maybe a bit questionable to do the buy sell in the Kiwi there, but I'm desperate for any kind of stats. And we find another Blowfish here. So I think I just decide to go for the Blowfish and on turn 8 and not bother with the Skunk. Um, I really want to maximize my chances of finding stuff and I don't want to keep things frozen in the shop. Now this is a super strange team where um, they've got their Elephant at the back instead of having it at the front to get the guaranteed triggers on the blowfish so I don't know what that was about I guess they wanted to give stats mon stats from the monkey to the blowfish but it's much better to give them to the elephant for that combo so I I don't know but in, in any case they crush me and here I level up the the seagull find the t-rex um, as I've said before t-rex 
not good for these kind of challenges where you're trying to um you know you're trying to level stuff up you're trying to find pets in the shop you need all your gold but i am conscious about my stats being very poor at this stage so um i get it in for at least a turn or two and thankfully here we go against a team with weak enough stats that the elephant blowfish just wipes them and we find a seagull on one roll which is very nice and it can get one one uh, turn of the um t-rex scaling and they're going against the four squad and they, they've got a uh, level three fox which is uh very impressive not don't see that very often and it was a four squad as well i'm not sure not sure why but um, okay, so now we get the elephant level 3 and we get Spinosaurus, which is one of the other pets required for the, the setup. So in it comes. We'll freeze up the seagull because it would be very nice to get it to level 3 as well. And I'll just buy it since there's no other option. Uh, definitely stats are really starting to look very poor at this stage. However, we get lucky and go against one of these teams that you quite often see that has survived this late, which is the the horse dog, level three horse dog, and it's just gonna get absolutely obliterated by the elephant blowfish snipes. And yeah, another clean sweep with uh, with no losses. So that's great, but it does mean that we're starting to run out of time. However, I do find the one up here, and now I find Piranha. Now Piranha is my second choice <laughs> pet. I think you can probably guess what is number one. And I find another one, so I'm actually going to freeze that. I think at this point it's probably very unlikely I would be able to get a level 2 pet for the second slot. Um, but when it, it's just so difficult to not freeze a double. Um, so I think here I actually sell... Do I sell the blowfish or do I just combine it? I guess I combine it because I'm still holding out hope that I'm going to find what I want, which is the mammoth. And... So we're, just for this turn, we're going to buy the piranha. It actually happens to have such bad starting stats that the elephant will kill it straight away. Um, so we can get sort of a preview of what the combo is supposed to be. However, we really need the health from the mammoth. Now, unfortunately here, one of the pedals of trying to play these elephant teams, especially later on, is when you're starting to go against these um, teams that have weakness and you're just... you're, you're um, you know, your sort of mechanical build is going to completely fall apart because pets are getting weakened or, you know, I mean, if the seagull loses the mushroom, it's all over. Um, same with the uh, with the elephant, if it loses the, the melon. And <laughs> so here on the combine, we get the, um, the mammoth and we have to pill it, which will trigger the Spinosaurus. And now it gets the, it has the 1-1 one -one stats, so the elephant can insta-kill it. Thankfully, the buff from the uh, Spinosaurus didn't land on it, although maybe that actually isn't possible. I'm not sure the the order. Maybe the Mammoth respawns afterwards. I'm not sure. We go against the Skunk team, but thankfully the Skunk doesn't have enough attack to actually kill me through the uh, the Melon, so we get the, the combo. You can see there the buff from the Spinosaurus did land on the Mammoth, which meant that the Elephant didn't trigger the Blowfish behind it. Um, but obviously the idea is the Elephant kills the... Uh, kills the mammoth and um, also triggers a few shots from the blowfish. Now, there we got very lucky to scrape a draw because of the lemon. And now we can level up Spinosaurus, which is a huge buff. And we'll just take the blowfish closer to level three. And this team, this is one of the problems you also find is that your one one unit gets sniped all the time. And so the elephant only takes one hit, but we still have seagull mammoth mushroom which is very good and it's gonna massively boost the stats here now i do get extremely lucky i think that the the blowfish single snipe hits the um it's the dolphin there because i'm i think i may lose if if i don't get that i'm not sure but um thankfully uh, <laughs> we escaped that that um that round so i'm just gonna look for the level up on the blowfish here don't get it we're just going to buy the hot dog for a bit more extra attack and into the final battle and just fingers crossed here and incredibly we go against a team that has a very weak raccoon at the front so although it takes the melon we are going to get to see multiple triggers from the elephant 
and it unfortunately then gets sniped by the Octo, 50-50 Octo, but it fires back to the hit the blowfish from beyond the grave. And now the Octo is killing all the mammoths. <laughs> and uh, we're going to take it out. And that was just so satisfying to kill a 50-50 Octo team with this uh, this five pet setup. We need to thank our lucky RNG stars that uh, they decided to put the raccoon up front instead of the octopus because otherwise I think it was curtains.